Okay, welcome. Um, my name is Mrs. Eden, and this is going to be the lab to earn a passing grade for quarter one, secondary two. You have some options um, in the first box. There are three labs because there's three units, so you can do all three labs in one day. Um, I estimate it should take between one to two hours for each lab, and or you can do one lab, come back, do the other labs, um, whenever it's convenient for you. So. We will print these out for you at the school. You do need to do your work at the school and then you'll turn in the labs um, before you leave each day, okay? Um, so there will be one video that has all three labs and you'll use the link that's on this Google Doc, okay? Um, pause when necessary and then you're gonna complete after the video practice you're gonna complete your own independent practice I will look at those problems kind of as your quiz and um, evaluate that to see if you are in a passing grade if you need help I can provide help with you um, help to you um, or you can do those independent practice problems on your own okay so let's get started with lab number one. Okay, so at the top, I always put what the objective is. Um, and this unit is all about radicals. So how to simplify radicals. A radical is a square root. And so these are the steps. You wanna completely factor the expressions. So you're gonna come up with terms that multiply to get the original value. For square roots, you wanna look for doubles. If it's cubed roots, you look for triples. Um, I like to circle the numbers, so each double that goes outside. You're only gonna write it once on the outside of the radical. Anything that's not a double or a triple, I'm gonna underline and then that gets multiplied back together and it stays inside the radical. Okay, so everything in a square root or cubed root is actually being multiplied. Okay, so let's look at example number one. So you need to come up with the factors of 200. So you can come up with anything that multiplies together to get 200. So I think of two times 100. So you'll wanna go ahead and write these notes on the piece of paper that's provided for you, okay? And that's part of your credit. You wanna keep breaking down the numbers until you can't break them down anymore. So the two is done. I still rewrite it. Um, because some students lose track if we don't. 100, you want to come up with any two numbers that multiply to get 100. And there's lots of options. It doesn't matter which one you pick. So I think of 10 times 10. So then I cross out the 100 so we don't look at it. Okay? Now we're going to keep going if we can keep breaking it down. The 2 can't, but 10 does. So 10 is 2 times 5. And this 10 is 2 times 5. So notice I'm only looking at the purple numbers right now. All right? Now, if there's not a number, it's called the index number, by this little radical, there's an imaginary 2 here, which means it's a square root. So you want to look for doubles. Okay? And I'm going to circle them. So it can be anywhere. So here's double 2s. And then here's double fives, okay? The two is the only two, so it's single, so I'm gonna underline it. Now, the way it works is if it's a double, you write it once on the outside of a radical. So I'm gonna write a radical, and this two goes out there, and this five goes out there. Everything's being multiplied together. This two that was single stays inside. And then if you can multiply terms together, you do. So two times five is 10 root two. And that is it's the same as root 200. It's just simplified, okay? No decimals. You don't wanna to touch a calculator. If you need a calculator to help get your factors, that's fine, but uh, no decimal answers. All right, let's try example number two. You've got 48 and then we have some letters. So letters we're gonna do separately. So we're gonna, find the factors of 48 and completely break it down. So I think of six times eight. And then I know six can break down into two times three and eight can break down into four times two. 
and four can keep going. So I'm going to keep the two, keep the three, and then four is two times two. And then this two needs to come down also. So you want to keep track of everything so you know exactly how many you have. All right, the x's. x squared means that that's x times x. And then y to the fifth means that it's five y's. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay? All right, so now there's a two imaginary. So that means you want to look for doubles. Okay? So I'm going to just get ready for my answer and write a root. So let's see, here's a double two, so it comes out once. Here's a double two, so it comes out. Here's a double x. Here's a double y. Here's a double y. Okay. This three is single, so it goes inside. And this y is single, so it goes inside. All right. So now you just want to multiply terms together that you can. So 2 times 2 is 4x, and then I've got 2y, so you write that as y squared. And then this 3y just stays 3y, so this would be your answer. All right, so let's look at example number 3. This is a cubed root because there's a little 3 index, so that means you want to look for triples. So I need three of the same thing in order to write it once on the outside. All right. So we're going to break down 32. Lots of options. Um, if you're not sure what goes in, you can always pick two if it's even and get a calculator and divide it. So I know that's two times 16. And then we want to break that down. So the two is going to stay. And then 16, I think of as four times four. And I know the 2 is going to stay, but 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. And this 4 is 2 times 2. So now I've broken everything down. Okay, x to the 7 means I literally have 7 x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oops, that's an x. <laughs> and then 12 y's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. Okay. All right. So we've broken everything down and we want to look for triples. I'm going to write a little cubed root. So here's three twos. I'm going to write it once on the outside. These two have to go back inside because we don't have enough. Here's an X. Here's three more X's. And we have a single x, so that goes back inside. And then I've got one, two, three, four groups of y's. So one, two, three, four. And they're on the outside. I don't have any single y's left. So if I multiply these back together, I get two. Two x's, we write that as x squared. And four y's, you write that as y to the fourth. We still have the cube drew. Two times two is four, and we have an x. So this is the simplified version of the original problem. Okay, so now what I want you to do is pause the video, and you are going to complete these two problems. Okay, so go ahead and pause. All right, we are going to go ahead and work on the next section from Unit 1, which is operations with radicals. So there's two different operations we're going to do. We're going to do adding and subtracting, and then we're also going to do multiplying. So when you add and subtract, first you want to simplify the radicals, and then if you have the same radical, that's why it's like, then you can combine the coefficients. The coefficient is the number in front. Okay? So let's look at example number one. I've got 7 root 11 and 20 root 11. Well, 11 doesn't actually break down. 
but you'll notice that these are the same. So what that means is the 20 is the coefficient and the 7, and it means we can actually combine those. So 7 plus 20 is 27. The roots are the same, so it stays the same. You don't actually change the root. All right, so that one's done. All right, example number two, we've got root 20 and root 5. Those are not the same. We can't combine anything yet. So what we want to do is we want to break down the radical, okay? So 20 is 2 times 10. The 2 stays, and then 10 is 2 times 5. Now, remember, that's a square root, so we're looking for doubles. So here's the double. And so what that means is I already have a 2 outside, but I can write another 2 from this double. This 5 is single, so it's going to stay inside. Root 5 doesn't break down, so I'm just going to copy that whole term again. Okay? So let's actually simplify this. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we look, you've got root 5 and root 5. So since those are the same, you can combine their coefficients. So 4 plus 8 is 12, root 5. Remember, the root stays the same. Okay, so that's adding and subtracting. All right, so when we multiply radicals, there's two different types. Uh, example 3 is one type, and example 4 is the second type. So what you want to do is anything that's inside, we want to break down that radical. But when I have two things being multiplied, I can just kind of think of those as together. We still want to look for doubles and triples um, under the radicals, and then we multiply everything outside back together and everything inside. So on number 3, this 6 and 3 are on the outside. So they're going to stay there, but I can put them side by side with multiplication. And so really, we have a 40 in here, and we have 240. We don't need to multiply those back together because we're going to be breaking them down anyway. And so we break them all the way down, and we look for doubles anywhere. Okay? So 40, I think of as 4 times 10. 4 is 2 times 2. And 10 is 2 times 5. And that's as far as that can go. So let's break down 240. This is kind of a big number. I like because it ends in a zero. I know 10 goes into it. So we can take a calculator and divide. Okay, so 10 times 24. And we want to keep going. So this 10 is 2 times 5. And then 24, you have a lot of options. Um, I'll just pick 6 times 4. And then I can break down 6, so 3 times 2, and 2 times 2. So now we have all of these pink numbers, okay? And you want to look for doubles anywhere. So here's a double, so that's going to come out with the 6 and the 3. Um, here's a double 5. Here's a double 2. See how I'm just writing it out there? Here's a double 2, and then a single 3 and a single 2. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get a calculator and we want to multiply all these numbers back together. Okay, so we've got 6 times 3, it could be in any order, times 2 times 5 times 2 times 2. It's really big. I got 720, okay? And then inside, we had that single 3 and that single 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, okay? So break it down, look for your doubles or triples, and then write what you have on the outside. All right. The last problem in this section is multiplying. So we actually call this, um, when we have two terms, we kind of call this FOIL. So what we do is double distributing. 
we are going to take the first two numbers and we're going to multiply them. 